Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Today I'm going to be doing a brewery that I actually haven't done any beers uh, by, at least not on this. Uh, recently, kind of recently, we had um, one that was a collaboration with this brewery, which is Omnipalo out of Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, they had done a collaboration with Stillwater called Shuma Party and then ended up on one of the episodes. But uh, this will be the first strictly, well, kind of strictly on Apollo, at least their recipe. Um, this is an Imperial IPA called Fata Morgana, which I've heard very good things about. But interestingly enough, as I read on the back of it, it was actually brewed and bottled by Pub Dog, which is out of Westminster, Maryland, which is not far from where I'm living right now. So, very interesting that it's a Swedish beer, but it's not a Swedish beer. So... Uh, it is 8% alcohol by volume, and like I said before, Imperial IPA. Cool artwork. I like it. Good job, on Apollo. Let's crack this sucker open, smell it, taste it, all that jazz. Let's see what the color. Okay. Immediately, it's it looks very, very cloudy. This is a nice, cloudy Imperial IPA. It looks very lemony. Looks like kind of like lemon juice, actually. You know, very cloudy, um, strawish color. Woo! You want to talk about an aroma? That's an aroma. Get a lot of grapefruit. A lot of grapefruit. I get like a skunky hop dankness in there. I get some candy notes. It's kind of like candied grapefruit. You know, if, I mean, grapefruit's already you know kind of, you know, sweet itself, but it's a lot more tartness. Like, I'm smelling that tartness, but I'm also smelling, like, it's the fruit of the grapefruit covered in sugar. Because you know how sometimes you'll just, you know, slice a grapefruit in half and eat it, you know, with some sugar on it for breakfast? Kind of like that. Oh my gosh, this is such an amazingly rich nose. It just smacks you in the face. And here's the thing, this bottle's actually still pretty cold. I just pulled it out of the fridge not long ago. And usually that would mean a lot of the aromas are gonna be a little clammed up. And as it warms up, it would get a lot more vibrant. Off the bat, even though it's cold, it is so vibrant. Ooh, that is an amazing nose. The grapefruit, the sugariness, there's a little bit of that candy quality, a little bit of like a Smarties, like candy Smarties, not Canadian Smarties, because they're like M&Ms, but American Smarties. Oh, smells so amazing. Ooh, okay. It's got a decent bitterness on the end, but it's a very, like, grapefruit rind type bitterness because I'm getting a lot of the actual grapefruit fruit in there as well. I'm getting that dank aspect to it, which is giving it a little bit of kind of like a pininess to it. Mmm. Bright citrus kind of hits up front, and then it kind of starts going down, and then that's when you're getting the bitterness is building up at the same time. But the bitterness is kind of medium. It's like right there, and right as it's building to a point where you feel like it might kind of cross a line where it's going to get to be too much, it stops. Um, wow. Really, really nice beer. I can't wait to see how it's going to open up as it gets warmer. Uh, if it's this cold right now and it's this vibrant in the flavor, that's going to be great. Mm. So much grapefruit aspect, grapefruit rind. There's a bit of a sugariness to it, like I was saying, like putting sugar on the grapefruit fruit for breakfast. A lot of those flavors. Um, Omnipalo, great job with this Fata Morgana. Um, Pub Dog, also great job with it because, you know, it's contract brewed basically. They give them a recipe and they are brewing and bottling it in Westminster, Maryland. Now here's the thing, it is on Apollo's recipe, but with Pub Dog actually executing it, there are a lot of things that can go wrong in the brewing process. And obviously, they're not having things go wrong in the brewing process. So great job, Pub Dog and Omnipalo. Nice ass beer. If anybody can get a hold of it, I highly recommend it. It is definitely a Imperial IPA lover's I, uh, Imperial IPA. So thank you so much everyone for checking this out. And why don't you send me some ideas? If you have any beers that you want me to go out and find out if they're good or if they're bad or in between, we can do that. Send me an email, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. 
you can do it for this and say do it as a video, or you can also do it for um, just the audio podcast. Either way, whatever you want to do. Anyway, thank you so much, and go get yourself an awesome beer to drink.